the half of myself and the Nuggets want everybody to know in Boulder County that we're thinking of them, uh, the Marshall Fires, and that we're with them. You know, that's something, as we all know, it's a lot bigger than basketball. Uh, um, and I know a lot of families have lost a lot, a lot of homes and things have happened there. But I also, uh, in my hometown of Dresden, Tennessee, like to say, uh, I don't want to get too emotional. Um, three weeks ago, there was a tornado that came through there basically tore my whole town up, uh, surrounding uh, towns. Also, uh, near my university at Murray State University in Mayfield, Kentucky was destroyed. destroyed. Uh, a lot of lives were lost, uh, really tragic uh, events down there. So I want those people uh, from where I'm from just to know that uh, I'm thinking of them as well. Um, on the basketball, <laughs> um, so any questions? Um, from that, obviously, but, but what have the last couple of days been like, and when did you learn uh, that, that you were going to be coaching? <laughs> it's uh, crazy. Obviously, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I've been an assistant. Uh, I think that when you get an opportunity, you reflect back on how long you've been doing things. You kind of don't think. You just do things and move on. Uh, uh, as an assistant coach, your job is to assist the head coach, and uh I've always done that. Uh, it's funny, this franchise actually drafted me in 1992. So we're talking 30 years. I didn't play here, but I was drafted here and uh, uh, went to Europe. And then my rights was traded to Dallas the next year where I started my NBA career, which we're going to play there uh, to, uh, Monday night. So it's, it's really weird how things have come full circle. Uh, I learned yesterday, uh, Coach Malone uh, texted me and, and then he, he gave me a call and said, you know, uh, I got confidence in you. Be yourself. Uh, uh, you're a positive guy. Uh, you know, you play, you know what you're doing. And so that was good for him. And, and I think that, you know, being the, uh, only the first year here, and I told the, the, the team this morning, I said, uh, the culture that, that Coach Malone, the staff, you guys have built here is really strong. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Uh, with the players, it's always been a next man up mentality. And I said, with the coaching staff, it's the same thing. Uh, not only I'm stepping in, but, you know, we got other coaches that are, uh, are not infected uh, or their duties are they're stepping up as well, doing different things. And, you know, we work together and, and we'll get the job done. And uh, uh, we're looking forward to it tonight. So I was going to ask, how much collaboration do you have with, with Malone, with, uh, David Adelman, like, is yeah. this a team, a like, collaborative process to, to coach tonight? Uh -huh. What does that look like? Well, I, I think that, you know, you, you want it to be, but, you know, Coach Malone said, hey, today I talked to him. Uh, obviously, you keep him in the loop on everything that we're doing and what we're thinking, uh, game plan-wise, lineup-wise, and he said, you know what, I, I don't want to micromanage you. you. You guys know what you're doing. He said, I'm in Denver. Uh, I'll be watching basically good luck, and but if you need anything, you, you know where I'm at. So, <laughs> So, we, you know, we, we put our heads together, all of us that, that are not infected, and we came up with a game plan. And, you know, we have a lot of good coaches in this organization, uh, and I've learned a lot from them. And I think over the years, I, you know, again, reflecting back, you know, I, I played for a lot of good coaches, but I've also worked for a lot of good coaches. And you also you always take something from each one, from who first hired me, A.B. Johnson, who learned from uh, Greg Popovich to, you know, from there uh, – uh, I went to Indiana, worked for Frank Vogel, where Dan Burke was there, and Larry Bird was there, and sitting down talking to Donnie Walsh all the time about coaching, and Nate McMillan was there, and then Nate McMillan took over, and then I worked for him, uh, and then on to uh, Philly for a year and worked for Doc Rivers. So I've learned from a lot of good coaches, and, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy how you get an opportunity to do it. Obviously, I'm looking forward to it. Always wanted to do it, to, to, I guess, to say that, probably just like playing in the NBA that, you know, hey, you know, being drafted 47th, people didn't think I could play in the NBA and played 11 years. I think it's all almost like that with coaching. They said, you know what, you know, yeah, I've been an assistant for a long time, but uh, I know that, you know, there's there, that I can be a head coach in this league and I, and I can lead a team. Have you ever had to take over for coaching when it got to a couple technicals and, and yeah. that has this been up to something that you've no, I think the closest thing was when Amy Johnson got fired in Brooklyn, and uh, I forgot to mention P.J. Carlissimo took over, who's been in basketball forever, and he gave me uh, a lot of responsibilities 
uh, not only on the offensive side to come up with plays, come up with uh, ATOs in the game stuff, gave me the board to draw plays, but come up with game plans uh, the rest of that season. And, uh, you know, I thought I did a good job doing that. Uh, he was proud of it. They didn't retain him. And that after that, that's when Frank Vogel hired me uh, in Indiana. What's the status of your questionable next tonight? Aaron yeah, I think uh, Aaron should be ready to go. Uh, he looked pretty good. We don't know yet about uh, Austin. We don't know yet about uh, his hand. Uh, we need him, obviously. <laughs> we're down. We, we're going to need his perimeter defense tonight. And, and lately, Austin's been making a lot of shots for us. We're going to need him on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, he won uh, defensive player of the game last game, the job he did on Curry, which we all know is not easy. Uh, but we know we're going to need them tonight with uh, all the tough perimeter uh, scoring that they have here. You, you assigned a couple, a couple of new players. But how much do you expect that they will uh, mm -hmm. catch it? Do you expect those? Well, I think that the way our numbers are, you know, uh, uh, I had Rayshon Tucker actually last year as a two-way in Philly. I know what he brings to the table. He brings defense. He brings toughness. Uh, he has great feet. Uh, he, he'd be, he would tell, tell you himself, more of a combo guard, not a point guard, uh, not a great shot maker, but he really can compete on the defensive end of the, of the floor. And we're probably going to, you know, have to need him tonight, uh, especially with Blacko just coming back. Uh, uh, he's going to be able to play short stints probably two, three minutes at a time. Uh, we're going to try to get him out there, but we need everybody, you know, uh, there may be a bowl bowl sighting tonight. We need everybody. I sent him a text today. Uh, be ready. Uh, you know, we're down numbers. We're going to need everybody to step up and play the best. How do you integrate um, those two guys? I know Carla was joined you guys today. Uh -huh. uh, Ray John was last night. How do, you get, how do you get two guys up to speed? Right. So well, Carly just got here right when we were doing our, our meeting today. Uh, you know, if you guys know the NBA, they, don't let, they didn't let us have a shoot around. So, bummer to try to get those guys up to speed. But, again, we have great assistant coaches here from, you know, Ryan Bowen to, to Charles Class. They spent time with those uh, guys. Uh, Andrew Munson, uh, getting those guys up to speed on uh, how we do things on the offensive side of the ball, how we do things on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, we're going to try to keep it generic when they're out there as well, you know. Uh, High pick and roll, this is how you space, uh, side pick and roll. And I think we all know, you know, stay out of the MVP's way and uh, <laughs> he'll lead you. You briefly touched on it, but what type of a challenge does the backcourt of Houston provide or, you know, push for you guys with Kevin Porter Jr. and mm. Jalen Green? Well, I think that uh, we all know with us, we've struggled uh, containing the ball against athletic backcourts. We saw that in Oklahoma City. Uh, and that was the message this morning that we have to contain the basketball. We have to keep the ball in front. We have to keep it out of the paint. We have to shrink properly. Uh, we have to be in our help spots. And uh, I think guys got that message. We went through some plays and, you know, we're going to try to meet that challenge. I think the guys are, I think they were a little shaky uh, this morning. I, I really do. But, you know, when I gave my message, they seemed they were like, they were riled up. They were like, all right, we're, we're going to be okay. You know, that, that there's still enough coaches here and it, and we're here to win. So it, it was really good. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Yeah.